Good morning, live from the Sharon Blaine Education Sydney studio. It's a beautiful day today. We're very, very excited. Something um, incredible has happened. And I'll let Sharon share that with you. How are you today, Sharon? I'm really well. I'm so excited for three of our gorgeous people that we met through our boot camp in the US. Michelle Delec and Lucy Doherty, um, all were winners last night in the Naha Awards. So congratulations to the gorgeous people. It was a pleasure working with you guys and I'm just so excited that they actually won the gong. So that's very, very exciting. So a couple of our bootcamp people um, doing really well out there. So today I'm going to take you through a really classic shape. It's not the shape that everybody sort of wants all the time, but you know what? You've got to know how to do this, and it's really important that you know how to do it well. And in the eyes of Alexander McQueen, or the words of Alexander McQueen, his phrase that I absolutely love to um, express is, you have to learn to construct before you deconstruct. So I'm going to construct a beautiful shignong, and then hang in there, I'm going to show you how to deconstruct that to turn it in, into a really beautiful, cool session look as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to over direct the hair forward. Um, when most people take the hair forward, it's usually done with um, a, you know, a row of bobby pins. And the one thing I've always found when I've used that technique, that when I bring the hair back on itself, there's a massive problem that I have. And the problem being that half the bobby pins lift out, it doesn't always pin well, and it's never really a great success. So I'm going to show you, first off, I've directed the hair forward. I'm going to show you with the use of this little latch hook, which is a really super little uh, product, um, how to actually over direct the hair forward using an elastic band and a bobby pin. So the first thing I'm going to do is push the hair back. So I keep it quite narrow at the base. I'm now pushing it in at 90 degrees and I'm scratching the scalp. So it's really super important to scratch the scalp. And what I'm doing now is I'm looping the elastic over the little latch, over the little hook and closing the latch down. Now watch me slip that back through. Notice how now it slips along the shank. I now replace the other loop onto the uh, little uh, hook and I do what we call a, like a little knot in the elastic. Now I'm gonna repeat that process because when I do that, I'm sure that it's going to be nice and tight and it's really important when you do this technique that you do create a really tight base because we don't want the hair swinging around. I'm going to take a bobby pin and I'm going to push it back into the same position on the opposite side, but take it slightly diagonal back into the back section of the hair. Now see how that's latched over. Um, so let me just remove all of these now. Now, if you were working with a ponytail base, so you have a client with shorter hair, you could actually put your ponytail in, in this technique, and you'd find it would be really, really firm and successful without necessarily using elastic, um, a lot of bobby pins. Now, just watch as I take this back. See how beautiful it always rolls back into the most perfect shape. Got a few little short layers there, but just check that out. Absolutely stunning. That particular technique is on Brides 1 in the Long Hair How To app. So I'm going to now take you through how to place this Xingnong into the back using some padding. Now I have a whole range of padding. I'm going to show you first, I'm going to be using the, the base that's the oblong shape, but also in my padding collection, I have a crescent, I have a beautiful cone shape which is perfect for doing a French roll and finally we have the round shape. They're all made out of synthetic hair so they're not like plastic bases and a lot of that type of thing that we normally see out there. I think I've just dropped my piece of padding somewhere. There you put, oh here we go. Okay so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to now do a technique that's a little bit different to the way I normally apply it. I just want to make this as simple as possible for you. Sharon, yep. there are plenty of people visiting us online this morning. So, hola from Colombia, from Queensland, Mexico and Astorias. We love Astoria. Hello everyone. And Carmen wants to know when you're going to Los Angeles. Oh, very soon. We're this out. time next month, we'll be actually doing boot camp in Los Angeles. Yeah. Now, let me just show you what I've just done. 
Um, I've done what I call a matting technique. So it's using a very fine comb. I've come in at the base of this. And the reason for doing matting in this section of hair is so when I actually pull it apart, it holds itself together. So I don't want the hair all separating and splicing out. I want to keep it as one complete piece of hair. So over the top of that now, I'm just going to come through with a soft brush and very, very gently smooth the outer surface of the hair. And when I do this, I'm making equally sure that the side panels are really clean. So we don't want this section of hair here to be messy or teasy. I've got just a couple of little bits that need to be super clean on that side. I'm disregarding those little short pieces. This is a layered doll, so I'm not sort of being too disturbed about that at the moment. So I'm going to take a very tiny elastic band. So I'm just putting that onto my hand now and gathering all those ends through my hand, smoothing really well once again. So very gently smoothing over this section. Now this is a technique that I do teach in boot camp, but I teach it in a very, very different way. Um, I teach it as a very traditional way. So this is sort of the quick version. So I'm going to come down here and just measure the hair to the shape that I want my chignon to be. I keep my fingers quite flat there because I don't want the hair to sort of crisscross over itself. I want to keep it flat like a piece of ribbon. And when I feed the band on, I've got to make sure that none of that hair does crisscross. So now I've got this shape all ready to go. So Sharon, somebody wants to know why do you use a dressing brush to smooth over that back combing and not a fine tooth comb? Um, I don't want the comb, great question actually, I don't want the comb to dig in to the actual base that I've just put in there and I feel that when the teeth go into the actual teased area that there's a chance that I might actually pull a little bit of that teasing out. So it's just the surface that I really want to smooth. So that's the important part for me. Now I'm just going to pull this bobby pin out here because one of the things that's most important when we're doing this technique is when you pin, you must pin through the elastic alone. So I'm coming back and just grabbing the elastic and not actually the hair. And the reason being is if I actually do the hair, um, the chances of it spreading over are not necessarily quite so good. I'm just going to take a long pin and just hold that there because what I want to do is now come back through these ends here and just mat them up a little bit because I don't want them to be stiff and hard when I roll the hair otherwise there's a chance that they might just want to pop out in the wrong spots. So by doing that I can just manipulate it over the base, bring it back down and swing this elastic down to the base on the head. So I'm just going to tilt her slightly forward for you, come back in underneath with my bobby pin unopened, catch the elastic and now into the base and take it across to the right hand side. So I go from left to right and right to left of the base and that way I know that every time I do that that I'm going to be crisscrossing my bobby pins with the hair underneath which is obviously going to make it a lot sort of better as far as support. So Sharon, somebody has asked, will you recycle that padding? Uh, will the client bring it back? Definitely Absolutely. not. Well, no, they don't bring it back to me. Um, they have to buy it. You know, it's all about the hygiene. Um, and to me, that's the, the only way to manage this. I guess we wouldn't return, you know, a pair of pantyhose someone's, once someone's used it. I think it's a bit similar, to be honest. All right, so it looks all a little strange. I've got this nice and firm in there. All I'm going to do now is massage the top layer of hair over, but at the same time push the base in underneath. Now you've noticed I haven't actually pinned the base in at this stage. I've kept the base free so I can manipulate that hair back inside. If I was to pin it before I did that, it wasn't would never happen for me. So I've got to say, people are giving you a shout out from Chicago, from the Bronx in New York. We're coming to New York in August, so check out the website. And for back that. again in October. That's correct. Brazil from uh, Rio de Janeiro. Hello. California and Sydney. Yay. It's a beautiful day in Sydney today. Thank goodness. Somebody wants to know where they can buy the padding in Perth, Sharon. Um, or every, all the padding is online at my website. So from today we're actually doing bundles on our website um, of padding. 
Um, actually tomorrow I've just been told it's going to be go, going up so you'll be able to buy a little bit more reduced price but what you'll find is you'll be able to buy bundles of so it's going to be a lot better for you to purchase. Now notice now I've just lifted up that edge, I've come through and I've pinned through the top and I'm coming up through the bottom so I'm taking that bobby pin from the bottom into the head, scratching it unopened and slipping it right up underneath the layers underneath. Now I'll manipulate that back up and over the hair. There's a lot of little short layers in there, so it's actually quite a challenge when we do that. Now I'm just going to swing her around this side and just show you the same. I think, Sharon, we forgot to get makeup to uh, sort out that nasty tattoo on the back of her neck. Oh, I know. I looked at her last night and it was very late and I thought, oh, maybe I need to clean that off. And then I thought, you know what, I'm actually too tired <laughs> because I got this girl prepared about 11 o'clock last night. So somebody wants to know your website. So that's our website. Let's go back a little bit. SharonBlaine.com. There we go. And for all our gorgeous American friends over there, uh, Straight Pin Studio LA. Straight Pin Studio LA actually has our products as well. So you could probably go there a little bit easier if you're in the US, but anywhere else we can help you out here on our website. We uh, send all around the world. Okay, so uh, somebody has tuned in from Barcelona. We would like to come and visit you. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I and, love uh, Barcelona. I don't know what this means, but I think it's a good thing. And uh, so many people are saying, me encanta. So I think that means they love it. Oh, good. <laughs> That's good to know. I hope so. So that was really simple. I hope you agree. I really haven't done too much with that. Um, Obviously, these bits are a little annoying because they are short, um, but I'm just going to show you very quickly. I'm just going to spray down. I'm not going to go crazy spray on this because I'm actually going to take it now and just mess the whole thing up for you. So I want to show you how to take a perfect polished hairstyle. So see how beautiful polished that is, how simple that was to create. Now, I want you to realize that this is just a technique. This shape can be put on the nape. This shape could be done asymmetric. This shape could be coming forward around the face. So this is just the technique for you to know, but also to realize that you can do a lot of other things with it as well. So let me just show you now how I would fix this up to change the whole look of it. So this is sort of the more, you know, editorial look and those little pieces now, that's great. They blend a lot nicer. Um, but all I'm doing is just picking up the outer surface. So don't dig deep into the area that you've matted. You just want that outer surface to be lifted. So you break it up and make it look just a little less perfect. And I think in this day and age, a little less perfect seems to be the way we're rolling with fashion and with hair. What are you spraying? Is that hairspray? No, this is just a little bit of oil shine that I'm putting in the hair. Um, I will put some hairspray in later, but the oil helps me stop the fluff getting too out of control. Now this particular hairstyle and many, many more are on my app. Um, so the app is actually, um, I've got a little sort of little sign made for you with that. And the app is actually available both on Android and Apple. And this is actually the words, long hair, how to. So if you go onto the app, this is in brides number one, and it's the key hairstyle in brides number one. So we've got a few classes coming up, let me share with you. We've got a lot of boot camps um, coming up uh, very soon, next month to be precise. August we head off to the US and we're going to be coming through to New York, Los Angeles and Houston. So jump online and have a look at those. And then don't forget we're going to be in Germany in October. We have a three day creative class that we're bringing back to New York um, with great demand. And that's coming back in October, so we're actually coming home, and then we're going back. So we're going to be doing this out at, uh, where are we doing that? Rockville Rock Centre. Rockville Centre, so yeah. three-day workshop out there. Um, also, somebody wants to know if you're coming to Vancouver. We're actually going to Toronto, but that's sold out, so you'll have yes, to come to the States. Yes, you'll have States. to come next year now, or, yeah, come and visit in, us in America. Okay, how about Hawaii and Chicago? <laughs> oh, God, how would I love to be in Hawaii today? That would be just beautiful. We'll put you on the list. So I'm just sort of very carefully lifting up around 
um, the surface just to break it up give it a little bit of a rough up so it doesn't look quite so perfect and just a loose couple of loose pieces there but this is a staple sort of hairstyle that I like to teach um, obviously you can imagine you could put this with braids you could do lots of different things to dress it up and one final thing is that um, I just want to really quickly talk to you guys about my US business that I have called the Big Towel Company. Believe it or not, that's 50 disposable eco towels and we are now online and available in the US and Canada. And what's really super is that we have freight free service out of uh, LA. So check out bigtowelcompany.com for our free freight service to Canada and the US and check out all about disposable towels. Imagine never having to wash another towel again. That's uh, available to you now in those areas. So I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this little idea has helped you. Um, hopefully next week we'll be back on track again and doing another one of those before we head off to the US later in the week. Um, have a great day and uh, goodbye from Sydney.